Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. We are still working with crude operations and every time we learn something extra that makes our life a bit easier. Now I want to continue with the edit function because remember, this is what we have next. Personally, what I do most of the times is to use the same form for create and edit. So, except of course if there is a big difference between edit and create. But in our case, the create form that we have here will be the same one for the edit. So what I will do is to call the view in the controller. So the view will be return view articles dot edit, right? Now we want to edit the article that we are going to view. So we have to pass the article to the edit view. However, you know what? The steps are exactly the same as in the show function. So what I will do is to copy these two lines of code and I will paste them and I will just change the show to edit. So let's create the edit view inside resources, views, articles, and right here, new file, edit.blade.php. And I will simply copy the code from the create because as we said, it will be almost identical. So first I will change the create to edit. And second, the method will still be paused. However, let's take a look at the route list. So if I open a new tab, PHP artisan, route list, I want you to take a look at this route right here. And because right now we are working with the edit view, but of course we have to post the data or better say, we have to put the data to the server. So as I said, put. So this will be a put request to the server. However, put is not recognized as a valid HTTP method. Because of this, we have to declare the method right here in the form. So below this, I will create, I will actually specify the method to put. So method field to put. So put is most usually used to upload or to override something that already exists. So in our case, it totally makes sense because we already have an article and we want to override some data. Now regarding the URI, well, let's see. The URI should be articles and then slash article. So in our case, we can pass the ID. So like this article ID. So this is the URI to update the article to post or maybe better say put the data to the server. Now, before we take any step further, let me save this and let's see the result. So in my database and inside the articles table, I have already a couple of articles and to be more specific, 1000. So what I will do is to go to articles slash one slash edit. So I want to edit the article with ID one. So as you can see, there is not a big difference, uh, except that the heading now is edit and not create anymore. Now, the next step is to get the current values of the article. So this is very easy to do, actually. If I go to the edit view, I want to get the content for the current article that we are editing, which is article with ID one. So inside the content, we have to get this and we also have to get the value for live zero or one. And of course, the post on date right here. So let me start first with the content. So the content is right here. We can just output the content. So article content. Now regarding the checkbox, well, what I will do for now is to go here and simply output the value for live. So article live. Now regarding the date time local, what I can do is to say value equals two, and we will pass the value of the post on. So article post underscore on. Uh, by the way, because I know that a lot of you will not get the date time local uh, input field. So this happens because your browser is not ready yet to accept this input value 
that HTML provides. Uh, in that case, you simply have to update or even better to change to Google Chrome that I'm actually using right now. Anyway, with these changes in place, I have already saved, I can go back, reload, and as you can see, we are getting the content for this article. And for the live, well, it is not checked. So this happens because the live value here is zero. However, if I change this to one, again, it will still not be checked. And also the post on date is not there yet because we already have a post on date, but it is not there. So let me start with the checkbox first. By the way, uh, for stuff like text, 99% it will work all the time by just outputting the text. However, when it comes to checkboxes, to dates, radio buttons, you have to take some extra steps sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes you have to, like in our case. So this is why I have a text here, I have a checkbox and a date time field, because I want you to see all the possible cases. Anyway, right now, live is not checked, as we said here. Oh, actually, let me bring this back to zero. So live is not checked and you can see it here. So let's fix this. What I want to do here is to check is first of all, let me cut this and I want to check if live is one, then we want to check the checkbox. Otherwise, do nothing. We have already seen ternary statements in previous videos, so let's use them. Right here, we can bring this back. So if this is equal to one, then I want to output the text checked. Otherwise, nothing. Of course, this is one way of doing it. There are a couple of other ways to do this, but I will use this one for now. So I will save, I will go back. Of course, this will not be checked. However, if I change this to a one and go back to this, now it is checked. So it means that this works. Okay, so now regarding this post on date time, we have to open the console to understand the error here. So just inspect and go to console. So as you can see, it complains about the format. So it says that the specified value doesn't conform to the required format. And the format should be this one. And of course you can have some optional parameters like the seconds and the milliseconds. Okay, so as I have already said a couple of times, I love using Carbon when it comes to dates. Now, the problem is that our poston field is not recognized as a Carbon instance by default from Laravel, like we have for created at and updated at, which by default they're Carbon instances. However, we can still achieve this by using date mutators inside the model. So simply open the article model and right here we can specify our dates. Oops, right here. So protected dates and I will specify the post on date. So this is enough. Now the post on date is a Carbon instance. However, how Laravel knows that created at and updated at are Carbon instances by default? Well, if you go to the model class and you open the get dates function, which is right here, you can see that it has two default dates, created at and updated at, and it converts them to date. So this is why in this array right here, you specify any other date except created at and updated at because they're already the default ones. Now that poston is a Carbon instance, we can use Carbon on it. So I want to format, let me go to the edit view. So right here, I want to format this date to be the one that is appropriate for the date time local. Now the format is a bit confusing and you do not have to remember this, of course. Uh, and of course, I don't have to remember this at all. I actually googled how to find this one. But anyway, so this is the right format right here. You can see it. So if I save this and I go back to this, back to the view, reload, and you can see now that we do not get the warning anymore and we get the correct date here with the time, of course. Okay, so in the next video, we will try to submit the form and take care of some things that are missing. For now, this is the end for the edit function.